A friend has a manual 24-inch camera slider, which he used a lot for shooting video. The typical user of these uses a rubber band attached to the sliding platform to help make smooth slides. It works pretty well, but it is not always smooth or consistent. We decided to convert the manual slider to a motorized slider using a NEMA 17 1.8 degree stepper motor, an Arduino Nano Every controller, and a SparkFun Easy Driver. We designed and printed additional parts for mounting and operation on an Ender 5 3D printer. The most significant part was the box containing the electronics and the stepper motor. We wanted as much as possible to house all the electrical in one box. The only item outside the box is the battery, a 12 volt LiPo, and it was mounted on the opposite end of the track from the box to help balance the weight, although most tripod heads would lock sufficiently to keep the track steady. The box is made of three parts, the box, the lid, and the lid vertical. The lid was made in two parts to make it easier to print. The two parts were glued together with Gorilla Glue after printing and allowed to dry overnight. The lid assembly contains holes for the rocker switch, which controls power and direction, and LEDs, which indicate power and travel status. It also has mount pedestals for the Arduino and Easy Driver, and an opening for the Arduino USB port for updates to the software. The box contains the holes to mount the NEMA 17 stepper motor, wings to mount the box to the slider extrusion cap, and a hole through which to pass the power cables. After some testing, we added a NEMA 17 compatible vibration isolation mount to reduce noise and vibration at slow stepper RPMs. The mount only needed 6 millimeters of space and we had sufficient space without modifying the lid assembly design. The original caps on the slider extrusion were replaced. The left end cap was designed to hold an idler pulley and bushing. The right end cap was designed with wings to match the wings on the box. The idler assembly uses a bushing that is slightly longer than the pulley so that a nut tightened on the bolt shaft will not pinch the pulley. A brake assembly was designed to press onto the existing traveler. A wedge was chosen to make it easy to lock the timing belt to the traveler by just sliding it in to press the belt against the brake housing. Sliding the wedge out releases the traveler to allow easy verification of camera positioning at both ends of the slider. The wedge is retained by a machine screw through a slot in the wedge. A belt sleeve was designed to slide over the folded timing belt, allowing the teeth on the belt to interlock and making it easy to readjust the belt tension when necessary. To tension the belt, we use O-rings, which provided the tension we wanted. Using the Arduino and Easy Stepper allowed for 1 8 steps, producing 1600 steps per revolution for fine resolution. We used the Excel stepper library to allow for acceleration and deceleration during the travel to produce smooth panning videos. I hope you enjoyed this video and gathered suggestions for making your own slider. You can get extrusions like the 1020 extrusion on the manual slider. I didn't have to make a traveler for this conversion, so you would have to design your own. However, after motorizing this slider, I made one with a wooden track, including the Traveler. All plans and software are available on my website. Thank you for viewing.